This, this Ask Misty is from a question I got on my Formspring account on how to lip sync. Well, to do a lip sync is very important. If you can't lip sync, there's no reason for you to be on stage. You can be gorgeous, but if you can't lip sync, the audience is kind of lost. Um, you could teach hair and makeup, but you can't teach stage presence. And lip syncing is a big part of stage presence. You must lip sync, and you must do lip sync well if you want to go far. Now, to do lip sync, I would say, number one, know your words. That should be obvious, but you would be surprised at how many people out there think that just because they've heard a song on the radio many times that they know it. No, you don't know a song just because you've heard it on the radio. You actually have to know each word to each part of the song that you're singing. Um, a lot of gay people especially, straight people are just like, ooh, having a good time, they don't really care. But if you're in a place where you're entertaining the gays, they're the shadiest. Meaning, they are going to look for you to mess up. They want you to mess up. So don't give them the opportunity to make fun of you. Don't give them the opportunity to let them clock you. Now, you'll, we've all seen bad lip sync, even on the music videos from like um, real singers who are lip syncing for their song. The thing that I would say su suggesting you um, when you're lip syncing a song, anticipate the words. Think about what's going to be said next. Don't wait for yourself to hear it and then say it because your lip sync will be off. Like, um, on the radio, on the radio. No. Think. It's getting ready to say, on the radio. That way you're not ahead of it, but you're right on it. If you wait for it to say it and then say it, you're going to be behind. I think this is a mistake that a lot of people do, is when you're singing the song, don't actually sing the song in real life. I've heard a lot of people do that, and that way they're most secure that they know the words. However, when you sing live, you don't move your mouth so much. Sometimes when people talk, they don't move their mouth. And you don't have to move your mouth to speak. You have to move your mouth to speak. So sing like this. Don't sing like this. Oh, say can you see? Because nobody cares. Yeah, you're moving the mouth at the same time, but it's not enough. You have to remember, you're on stage. So do everything over, do everything above, and over-exaggerate, over-emphasize the words that you are singing. It's your words like, ah. Oh, and the, one of the girls asked me how to teach her the lip shudder, I think she called it. Um, I always called it the quiver. I don't, I don't know um, how to teach you the quiver. I guess it's like a shake. I go, you know, you just move your mouth crazy, I guess, like, ha, ah. and you're going to do this when a part of a song has a vibrato, like, oh, say, can you see, like that, you know, overexcited, because from the audience, it looks like you're doing a physical vibrato with your lips. Also, for an advanced lip syncing, especially like, um, for beauty pageants and things, um, when certain songs, especially ballads like uh, Celine Dion or a lot of Broadway, when people are singing very loud and they're emphasizing their 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 words very forcefully, you're going to hear their breath. Like, oh, say, can you see? And you're going to hear it when you're lip syncing. Emphasize the breath because you want to portray the image that you're actually the person singing the song. And if you can hear the singer breathing, breathe. Be like, oh, say, can you see? Like, physically do it. And that would be, I, I think, more of an advanced technique. But right now, overemphasize the words you are saying. Actually know each word you're going to say. And another thing I'm going to say that I, I, I think annoys the crap out of me when I'm watching someone lip sync is called to me I, I guess I would call it the puppet and I, I can't think of a reason why anybody would do this except for the fact that they don't know the words to their song and the puppet comes like this 
How I say, can you see? They just move their mouth open like. Oh my lord, that ex so so annoys me. I, I I don't know. I I think just no matter what, when it comes to drag, remember you're on stage. You have to overemphasize everything. You want everyone to see it. You want the person up close to see it, and you want the guy in the DJ booth to see it. You want the security guard getting ready to walk in the front door to see it. You want everyone to be able to see that you're on stage and you're singing so much. You know, I don't know. That's I guess that would be my tutorial on how to lip sync. <laughs>